Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and I am Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip. So I am going to show you what is in my weekly basket this week. And I'm also going to show you my skincare too because to me my skincare is what kicks it off. It's what I do first thing before I put my makeup on. It helps my makeup go on so much better. I feel and it makes me not look as old as I am. So that's always a bonus and my brows don't look great. Uh, I did color them last night with yesterday with my Almay, so that should do better. There we go. Okay, so let's talk makeup basket for this week. So I'm gonna start with my skincare and stuff. And if you don't know me, you know this is my holy grail. This is my line boosting serum, line correcting booster serum. It helps for around my lips so I can wear red lipsticks. It's around my eyes, hair and stuff. I've been using this for now over a year. I love it. It is always in my basket. This is a given. If I'm out of it, I start to panic because, you know, a lot of the skincare, once you start using it, you have to keep using it because it keeps your, your skin balanced and doing what it's supposed to do. So... This is my, the nickname for this, I've heard other people call it too, is Botox in a bottle. I'm never going to have injections of Botox, so this is the closest I'm going to get to Botox in a bottle. Or Botox. <laughs> okay, so when I do that, then I have my Botanics Con Radiance Concentrate Serum. And you can see I've, I've been using that. So that's in there right now this week because... With the weather turning, going from really warm from 60 degrees down to 5 degrees, I need that extra boost. So I do like this concentrate serum. It's what I'm using with that. It does not help with this for anti-aging. So I can only do it for so long and then I have to switch back to anti-aging serum to go with this. I have, of course, my Pure Vitamin C by La Roche-Posay. One of my favorites. Um, I'm getting down to the bottom. I have some other pure vitamin C I need to use up. So before I buy another tube of this, I'm going to use that up. I actually got the new Vichy Peptide C and I'm excited about using that. So that's probably what's going to get switched out with that. I do keep two eye creams on me because this has a rollerball in it. It's by Botanics and it is the brightening, um, thing. And I love, I know a friend of mine hates rollerballs. But for that to massage into my eyes and everything, I love that. And that helps the, the getting the blood flow and, and such. So more for the rollerball. But then I also have my Lift and Luminate um, anti-aging eye cream. For, I mean, look. I'm old. I'm getting older. So those are my eye creams. And yes, those are kind of a focus for me and stuff. So the other ones, I have two trial size ones. This one I'm using up, and that is the Gold Fetin MD Solution Vital Boost. I've obviously got it in one of my boxes. Um, even Skin Tone Daily Moisture. It's got vitamin D, hyaluronic acid, gooseberry. So I haven't noticed anything major about it, but do, I do like how it goes on and stuff. This one, <sighs> for me being, I love my, my drugstore skincare, and I switched from a lot of my prestige skincare to my drugstore skincare. This one though by Shishido Wasu. Oh my gosh, I love the feel of this. I love this on my skin. If I ever get trimmed down on my skincare or I find something like this, this I love, this feels so good. And this is probably one of the things that skincare wise, I mean, I don't, this is clean mega hydration cream. So I like that because where I live, it's a very dry climate. It's not anti-aging. So I would probably buy it and alternate it between my anti-aging cream that I really like and um, this. Um, but this little guy, I am loving it. I've been using it three or four times now I've used it. So unfortunately, you know, I want to get these two used up this week. Maybe, maybe not. I have others. Okay, what else is there? I'm forgetting some. Oh, my water spray this was in my 2020 pan this is my vichy thermal water spray this is what i wet my sponges with this is what i spray my face with if it's feeling dry um i don't use just the fixing spray i literally will and i love this stuff oh my gosh oh, it's 
it's getting there. I've got two two cans of it. <sighs> so this is another one. Um, this one, and then I also like my La Roche mineral water. I think I also have number seven, and I have botanics. But I love thermal mineral. I love mineral waters. I love thermal mineral waters. I have those as much as the setting sprays because I just really like them. <laughs> okay, so that was my oh, and my Radiance Balm, illuminating radiance balm, help with moisturizing. It's another hibiscus one by Botanics. Uh, I'm real because this weather change where we went from like they said 60 degrees down to below freezing really quick this last week. Um, my skin is like kind of having some grumpies about it. So that is basically a lot of stuff that's in my skincare. And I put that on after I put my moisturizer on because then it helps with my primer. If I have a primer that's not so great, but it, I love that radiance balm before I put my foundation on and so forth. Okay. So in my makeup basket, I have couple things. Cool. Okay, so let's start with primer. I'm wanting to use this primer up this week, the little Tarte Quench one. I got two of the. I just finished up one, then I got this in an Ipsy box, I think. Is it Ipsy or, no, Sephora. I got this in the Sephora and I'm like, I, I'm just finishing one up. So that's my primer I'm finishing up. If I finish it up before the week's out, which I might. I mean, it's only got two or three things in it. I don't use a whole lot. Then I will go back to using my number seven radiance boosting primer. This primer, I love mixing with my foundation. Um, especially if I want that shine or that glow. Um, let's see if it'll, but it does, has that pink radiance and I just, I love it. I love how it, I don't think you can really tell, but it's one of my favorite primers. It is a little expensive for drugstore primer, but it's so worth it. I do. I love this. It's, um, I think it goes for about 20 bucks. <laughs> so I always get it when it's on sale. Buy two, get the third one free or something like that. Cosmetics at Walgreens. You can also get this at Ulta. <laughs> so, um, but that's two of them. Concealer. I have two concealers that I use. One of them is this, and this goes under my foundation. This one, and this is my Soap and Glory Kick Ass Just Bright Tired Skin Concealer. So, like, there's a lot of work that goes on, so I don't look... I mean, you can still see how tired, but there... I... Yeah. And then my other concealer that I'm trying to use is my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. And I have been working on this almost all year. It's I'm down to this. I don't know if this will finish up in two months, but... Yeah. So that's always in there. And then let's go to foundations. So I have another little sample. Oh, I have one more. Don't laugh. So this one is my little milk makeup blur thing. So I do use this too. It's almost gone. Um, works good for certain areas that I want to take care of and such. So yeah. But I feel like I have no makeup on. That's what you guys don't understand. A lot of the stuff when you put it on, you feel like you have nothing on. It just takes a while to feel like you have nothing on. So one of the foundations I want to use is the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion in Light. This one, I think I should be able to finish up. I actually mixed it with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, foundation in buff because I need the hyaluronic acid right now. Let's be honest. I need the hyaluronic acid right now. But I'm also mixing in with this week is my anti-aging foundation, my Lift and Illuminate. It's in my 2020 pan. This one is not in a pan? No. Um, and this is, this one's in buff. This one is in um, cool ivory. And I've only got this much left. Um, I'm a very pasty person on the most part. So, but this has got anti-aging. It's got Matrixel. I'm pretty sure it's got the Matrixel 3000 in it. So that's my other foundation. And nobody wants to go where it's supposed to go. Okay, so liquid. So right now I am using, I have two. I have my Sunlit Bronzer by L'Oreal that I'm trying to use up, which I don't know where I'm at. It's, you know, the way the tube is. But then I also have the Loritz, and this was part of my Drop 10 this summer, and it's Aloha. And it's a contour, it's kind of like what I use for a contouring stick. 
So that's my cream or liquid bronzers. And then I have two cream blushes. One of them is my Jordana Triple Play in Pink Nectar, which I love. And then I have the L'Oreal Sexy Flush. So if I want a lighter one, hold on. If I want a light blush, or if I want something more dramatic, those are my two cream blushes. So that's the L'Oreal and that's the Jordana. Um, I know I saw someone saying, talk about Jordana and you used to go into Walgreens and get it. You can get it online. Um, if I need any of this, I always order it online and have it shipped to store. They have really good deals for that. Um, I have to wipe off my hand. That's what my wipes are for. And if you want to laugh, my wipes that I use for Wiping stuff off the back of my hand and so forth, so forth, is of course Botanics, the hibiscus one for brightening. Uh, sometimes I use that with my face if I have a flaw or something. I like to use, oh, I also have my, what I want to use up, my Sephora Meister water for cleaning off my face. Okay. Highlighters. These two have been my toys. I've got them out. I love them because this one smells like pineapples. I'm really into the fruit thing right now. Mm. So there's the Tutti Fruity Pink Lemonade. I guess it smells like lemonade, not pineapple. I don't know why I keep thinking it's lemon. And this one's strawberry. And this is strawberry sparkle. To me, that's going to be more of a blush for me. If I want a sparkle blush. But then that's that um, lemonade, pink lemonade one. So I really like those. And those are both by, not Tutti Fruity. They're the Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. Tutti Fruity. <laughs> This is too fruity. No, it's Too Faced. I'm so sorry. Um, so that's a fun... Those are my fun highlighters. Okay. Two powders. Okay, so... Oh, let's do the eye cream. Eye cream. I've been using it to set my eyeshadows, and, or to basically for my base for my eyeshadows, is my Catrice Camouflage Cream. If I use it up this week, I do have my backup cream, which is the NYX Eyeshadow Base. Brand new basically use it a couple times because I couldn't find my Catrice <laughs> that's real <laughs> okay I gotta they have a home and they're sliding about oh another primer that I'm trying to use up is Revlon so I'll probably pop this one in once I use the Tarte one because I'm so close to being done with this and I really like it so hold on brows of course, I do my where I dye my brows on Sunday. That's my Alme. And then I go through the rest of the week to fill in. Or is it, right now I'm using the Benefit Give Me Brow. Is this Give Me Brow? Yeah, Give Me Brow. So it's just a little tester one. I have so much brow product. I like it. It's okay. But it's not on my list to like, oh, I have to buy it. Nope, 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 nope. My setting powder and stuff, finishing powder, fixing powder, is by CYO. It's one of my favorites. I'm so bummed that they oh, that um, they're not going to be in business any longer. I'm really actually I'm really really upset about that. So that sets my powder. So then let's go to kind of what I've been focusing on for my bronzers and stuff has been my Lancome palette. This Poor Abuse palette. It's 15 years old. So I've been using this, and then this has been the main blush I've been using. Been keeping it really simple with that highlighter. I grab one out of my drawer. I have a row of them. So I need to pull one out just to focus on it. The drawer was open for me. So let's look at... Let's use a... Let's focus on Catrice. So I have a Catrice highlighting powder. I just grabbed it in the row. So this is the one. I have been using it off and on. There's a little bit of a dip. What I'm probably going to do because it looks like there's a little bit of hard pan. So I'm going to, with a, what I'll do with this is I'll, I will scrape around where those little hard bits are. And with a mascara wand. And that will help that. Yes, that's how I do things. Okay, so those are for that. Eyeshadow palettes, of course, are my Lancome, which are my Project Pan ones. So hold on, let's grab those. One is the single eyeshadow I'm focusing on right now is my Weekly Project Pack. This is Balsam by Coastal Scents. 
It's got a beautiful green and gold um, tint to it. So that's my project for the week. Then I have one of my, this is a Lancome palette. It has a blush. I'm almost done with this pink. And then I've got the nude and the white. The other one that I have not got much progress in uh, is another Nelly Income one. Blues and pinks and grays, silvers. This is the one you guys just saw because I'm working on the bronzer, the blush. And then I have, I have been working on this purple the most. And I won't start on this pink until that pink is done out of this one. My hands are so full. Huh? So as soon as I finish this little bit of pink, then I'll start on that pink. Then I, this one I haven't touched now. This is the other bronzer that I use when I want, like I said, when I'm using that one, when I want a little bit more corally look, I'll use this one. Eyeshadow palettes that I'm having fun with, but not limited to. And I haven't played with this one yet, but it is on my list because I love these fall colors. I probably will with having this one. I will probably be playing with this palette. That's the Butter London Natural Goddess, I think. Natural Goddess, which I got in a box. Pretty sure BoxyCharm. Could be wrong. Then I'm also working on my Queen Supreme MAC palette. All my golds and when I want to really sparkle. And then my fun fall palette is by my Sleek. And this is Vintage Romance. And I love this palette for dark. And I just like the looks. Especially when I want to do a smoky eye. This is one to play with. Other fall one I am playing with. Don't you even think about it, Tonka. Is my Nightmare Before Christmas. It's in my Nightmare Before Christmas project pan. And this one has the neutrals and the smoky eyes that I can play with. So. Then, what am I missing? Mascara. So I have, don't laugh, I have four. Okay, so I have my primer, whoop, Lash Paradise Primer, which I love. I have the Veteran Sex Deluxe size in black. Because it's fall, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Garnet one, which I love. And then I have a gold topper by L'Oreal, which this one is almost done. I've been using this a lot, and this one's almost done. So these will probably be done in the next, actually, week or so. So those are those. I'm thinking, let's see, what else am I forgetting? Eyeliners and lip liners. Because <sighs> lipstick's a whole nother party. <sighs> I have a whole spinner. <sighs> Of lipstick over here so my lip liner that i'm trying is my lipstick queen by natural one it's in my 2020 pan i've been using the heck out of it eyeliners my liquid liner which i am almost this is ready to go into the thing this is my master precise all day maybelline deluxe of um a black eyeliner and then i have my avon black glimmer sticks mm -hmm. then Lipsticks for my Project Pan. These two, the whole, and I have have um, Tropical Beach. It's on my lips. And then I have Poppy Topaz, Topaz by Kevin Kwan. So those are both the two. These are two I'm focusing on. But I also have, you know, um, like I said, a whole spinner of things here of lipstick. I literally have six things in a spinner. I could pick it up, but... So if I, there's other colors, like if I want a nude or if I want a red, I can grab these. Um, I did just get done playing with this brown one all last week, so it's still there. I am thinking about giving it to my friend Lori, sanitize, scrape, you know, take care of it all. One of the nudes I would probably want to use up is this Tart Tartist No Name Gloss because it's small. And I think this is Hey Dolly. Nude Beach. This is Nude Beach. So this is a, oh, I haven't used that one. That's not the one I want. There's one I've used, and I thought that was new. That was the Dolly one. Here it is. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Oh. Uh. No, this is the. I have two nude nude beaches. Un oh great. Uh. Do I really? Uh. 
That one's not been used. That one's not been used. And they're both deluxe samples of Nude Beach. So one will stay. One will go. What's this one? This is sure thing. That's an extra sure thing that I have. So I've already set them to the side. So certain ones I have duplicates, I set to the side. I think I'm going to set this one to the side too. So I'm going to clean that and send that to um, a friend. So I want a nude. Rum punch, maybe. Have I used it? Nope. Okay, so I will go through and figure out what other colors of lipsticks I want. But I think I'm going to do a lot of, of the coral, fun, fall corally looks. But like I said, I may throw in some of the, you know, some of my other fall looks that I have. So, CoverGirl, this is my Sleek, this is Rimmel, which is in my Lucy. You've got some panning to do, so I gotta throw that so I don't forget it. Not that it matters when I move it just a foot away, but anyway. <laughs> Setting spray. I just had it because I just set my face. Oh, this is my Crystal Caverns Wet n Wild um, Oral Booster. I will use that up. If I finish it this week, then I will move in my All Nighter Honey setting, setting Spray. So those are going to be the two focus there. Perfumes I have in is C by Giorgio Omani for this week. Grapefruit. Which, yes, I know it's not a fall, but it's grapefruit. And I love it so much. I'm wearing it today, but I still want to sniff this. Um, <laughs> I love the smell of grapefruit. I'm sorry. Um, you're in the wrong spot. Uh, and then we have... So those two are my focus for this week. Um, this is the C by Giorgio Almani, which is just, like I said, a tester. It's in my A Little Goes a Long Way. And the grapefruit is also in a little goes a long way. And then for the body scent, like if I spray my clothes or spray certain things, I have citrus pop, which was in last month's, which I couldn't find. Got my cosmetic case back from my trip. <laughs> so it was in there, like I thought. And so it's also one of them. The Prosecco one, this smells like 7-Up or ginger ale or something. It's kind of funny. It's a Prosecco frizz. There's like no... It smells like soda. <laughs> so... I know I'm going to have a problem using this. I'm trying to figure out what to use this on. I'm like, should I use it on the bedding? Should I use it on like my couch? Because it smells, I don't want to smell like soda. <laughs> so I, I've gone past the Dr. Pepper 7-Up, you know, lip smacker stage, Coca-Cola, orange soda, whatever. I was like, I don't know. So this, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it. But I am going to use it. It just might be like spritzing like my furniture or something uh, for Thanksgiving. Let, let me make everything smell like Seven Up. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's do some ginger ale. Uh, the animals don't mind it, so I, I I'm not scared of using it around them for that. Uh, but yeah, that um that's one of the fragrance things I'm not sure about. I also am going to be wearing. I have these purple lashes for Halloween. I'm doing a Cheshire Cat look this week, so there'll be a lot of pink and purple. So hopefully I'll hit pan or use up a lot of product doing one day that look. Um, I'm not sure. Um, not sure. Just let's stay with that. Uh, what the, uh, the Two days. I usually do two days. I usually do Wednesday and Thursday. So definitely Thursday. Wednesday, I'll probably do more of a glam look. I've got a gorgeous um, Renaissance wig that I didn't get to wear for an event because I was sick. So that'll probably go up that. What am I looking for? But I am going to do the pink and purple Cheshire Cat. Not the, not the blue Cheshire Cat. But the um, pink and purple one. So, yeah. Um... Cause I do, I, I love that look. Maybe I should do a, a montage to Alice in Wonderland and do a few days of looks of Alice in Wonderland and the Queen of Hearts and um, the White Rabbit and such. But we shall, we shall see. That's an idea. If anyone else thinks it's a good idea, let me know. This has gone on long enough. Shouldn't have gone on this long enough. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I will all talk to you soon.
Bye.